Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the fourth and last episode of this series of tutorials um, where we learn how to adapt Steamworks.net to our Unity project so to make our Unity game to work with the Steam user interface and API. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about building. We're going to create a build and we're going to upload it to Steam and then make it public and make it work for all of our user base. All right, so let's start from Unity. That's the first step. Now, we're gonna make sure that the Steam Manager is enabled. We also need to make absolutely sure that our debug stuff is not enabled, right? You don't want that functioning. And what we're going to do now is we are going to hit Control-Shift-B. We're gonna build. And we're gonna put it somewhere anywhere. I have a specific folder, but you want to put it anywhere. Don't worry about it for now. So I'm building the build. It gets a little boring. Oh boy, you're seeing my working title here. That's how Ova Smash used to be called back in the day. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. Da -da 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 -da. Does itself. And once it's done, I can do all of this live because Ovo Smash is relatively small in size, so it doesn't take days to build it. All right, so it's it's there, lovely. So what we can do now is we can go to our internet browser and we can log in to Steamworks again. And now I'm going to try to explain to the best of my understanding and ability how Steam understands builds, more or less. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down, go to technical tools and go to edit Steamworks settings click that and now you want to go on the steam pipe and you want to take a look at builds and depots we're gonna start with builds so a build is a version of your game and you'll see that here I have only one available it's default one it's got a, a, an individual ID which get us, gets assigned to each build that you upload it, it gets its own individual ID <clears throat> it's got a date it's got a certain description that was present somewhere and it's got depots included. I'll explain what depots are shortly. Just give me a moment. So here you have a small log of what you've done so far, right? So you'll see that they have build IDs, they have descriptions, sometimes I put stuff, sometimes I haven't, blah, blah, blah. So the last one I apparently tweaked challenge difficulties. It's up to you what you put in there. It's not that relevant. Okay, so the default public branch, this number should match this number all great now let's go take a look at the depots now the depots are what at least in my experience in the triple a industry is usually called a skew so pretty much what this means is that it's a version of your game that gets released in certain situations so for example let's say you had a build that comes along with dlc or a build that comes along with a season a season pass or a build that is specific to france or Germany there that's a good example so you have censored blood and you've turned it green or something like that or a build that is um, uh, that that includes your soundtrack that sort of stuff right so those would be separate SKUs or as they call them here depots and the interesting thing is that what how depots work is that they take the number of your product right and they add a unit at the end so in my case it's 31. I only have one depot, which applies to all languages. It only works for Windows. It applies to all architectures of Windows, and it's the base program. It's got nothing else. Then you can add DLC, all sorts of stuff, blah, 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 blah. Uh, one thing that also needs to be noticed is that here it also says which languages are supported, and again, I matched it, but it's done manually, this, okay? So you would save, you do all sorts of stuff. All right, so let's go back to the builds. Dude. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> this interface is a little bit difficult to to talk to. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go home and give up. Uh, go to Ovo Smash. Uh, come on, and back to Edit Steamwork Settings for Technical Tools. Builds there. Now I can click it. Thank you. How very kind. All right. So we're gonna stay on this page and what we're gonna do now is we are going to figure out how we're gonna get to get our build from our local hard drive onto Steam. Now for that, we're going to need the Steam SDK, right? The development kit. So let's go to our uh, trusty search engine and we're gonna type Steam SDK. 
hit enter and it's right here steam sdk steamworks documentation let's go there and here you'll find all sorts of information very useful so you want to read this and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go to download the latest version of the steamworks here and 141 is going to download now i'm not going to do it now because i already have it but you can do it okay so let me go right there so this is where my build is steam zips and i've downloaded it right here and i've extracted it here sdk there it is sdk all right so there's information all sorts of stuff now i'm going to show you the critical path so to speak i'm only going to show you what you absolutely need okay <clears throat> we're going to go to the tools folder and from here we're going to go to content builder and here we are going to go to scripts and take a look at these first okay look at this number it should be familiar to you that's the number of my app and that's the number of the depot so i've already opened these two scripts i personally have used visual studio to do it you can use any other program it's fine even some notepad plus plus or something like that any generic text editor so let's take a look at the build so these are there by default by the way and they have 480 so most of this content is already there you don't need to actually write it yourself so don't worry too much about following it uh with too much care but i'm going to point out the very precise stuff here okay so <clears throat> app id this one you need to fill in okay and then there's basically a comment so i'm gonna say final version 1v1 uh and today is in my case october 10th so i'm gonna write october uh, a 10th what did i say i wish october 10th is the release date <clears throat> what a lovely segue <laughs> what i meant to say is october 2nd okay so i'm writing this comment this is literally text you could write whatever you want you could write silly words okay then you can leave this default you can leave this default pretty much everything stays on default now on depots you want to put the correct number of the depot remember in my case the default depot is the number of the app id plus one and then also the name of the file of the depot which also contains the number now we'll notice one more thing the app build itself i'm going to save now contains the number so app underscore build and then the number this is very important get these numbers correct okay now let's take a look at the depot build this one again is filled in mostly by default so you don't need to worry too much about this i'm just going to highlight the things that are important to you again depot id very important content route this one depends on your area this depends on where you have your things on your hard drives okay so this one you need to fill in now let's go take a look at mine so if we go back to content builder we go to content this as a, as a steam helpfully tells us your game content lives here i've created a subfolder called windows content and this is where my ovo smash stuff goes so i've already configured my unity builder to go directly there which is quite nice okay so this is where my stuff is in content all right so i'm going to mirror this particular path okay right here and i'm going to make sure that it's right here and yes it is to content now you'll notice that i didn't put content windows that's because um I've put that in my local path here because each of these would change depending on the depot. Say if I had a depot 719132 and it was for the Mac, then I'd put something like Mac content here for that particular individual file, but the current route will remain the same. So I have less stuff to edit. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference, to be fair, whether you put it here or up there. It's fine. So in order to indicate that you want to start from the content route, you have a full stop here in front okay and the asterisk indicate everything indicates everything so essentially this depot is going to take all of the content from windows content and put it on the other side which then gets installed in your common folders in steam and so on and so forth um everything else you can pretty much leave exactly as it is so this is all done technically speaking awesome so all we need to do now is we need to send it to steam somehow now for that I could teach you how to use the Steam CMD and all of that stuff, but I'm not going to do this. That's because there is a lovely little batch file here that uh, Valve has left for us called run build. If we open that again in an editor, you will notice that it only has one command, okay? Builder, Steam command, 
exe. So it goes to the builder folder, folder from this folder and it opens Steam command exit, exe. Then what it does right after, this is the plus, it logs in. And here's my username and my password, which I've blurred out. Okay, and then it does another command. It runs the app build HTTP command, which exists within Steam command exe, and it goes back a folder probably, then scripts app build VDF, which is that script that we have here, and then it quits. Now you may remove the quit thing if you want to see what happens. Probably a good idea, so I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to save. So I've removed the quit thing. Okay, now I'm going back here. I'm going to double click run build bat. Okay, let's see what it does. So logs in, logs in as myself. Again, I'll, I'll blur the, I've blurred the thing. Blah, 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 does it say scanning content, uploading content, successfully finished app ID, blah, 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 blah. Now, mine took very little. The reason why mine took very little is because Over Smash is a very compact game. If you have a large game, this is gonna take a while, right? So you wanna make sure that you're, you know, <laughs> uploading stuff when you know it's pretty good it's in a decent state you don't want to upload all the time it's just a waste of everyone's time okay so i'm going to type exit which is what the quit command would do on its own i'm going to go back and actually reinstate quit before i forget and save and now let's go take a look what happened so i'm going to go back to uh, my browser i'm going to go back to over smash and hey nothing happened uh wait a second captain all you need to do is hit f5 and we'll reload the page and if I'm correct, yes, we have a new version with the correct, uh, with the new date, which was in that comment that you saw, the depot that's included, okay? And it's got a build ID. Well, awesome. So how do I set this build as the one that my players are gonna use? Well, I'm gonna go here, select that branch. I only have one branch, so I'm gonna hit default. Then I'm gonna hit preview change. And now it's gonna let me add a comment. And I'm gonna write um, uh, demonstrating uh, how to build in uh, Steamworks. Okay, and I'm gonna hit set build live now. Set build live for branch default, okay. Reloading. And now you'll see that the default text is moved up here and I got my little comment down here, my history. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the previous build. That's because I like to be tidied, then it's out to you. I hit remove build, bam, see ya. And I've removed the previous build. It's not on the server anymore. At least I'm assuming it's not, I don't know. <laughs> and there we go, default, awesome. So is it the case now that all of our players We'll, we'll get the new version of Ovo Smash and eh, not quite. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to go to the Publish tab up here. Let's go. And here you see a few cool things. For example, view diffs. And in this particular case, there are no diffs. What are diffs? Diffs are differences, changes. Uh, and it gives you a lovely little um, um, report with all of the changes that you have made, which is great. Uh, in my case, because I have none, uh, it'll be very easy to do the upload. It's gonna, it's gonna be very, very short. So I'm gonna click prepare for publishing. You can also revert changes, do all sorts of stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, then you hit publish to Steam. And as you can see, they're trying to tell you very to be very careful at doing this only if you're sure, right? Because if you're uploading a build that doesn't work or breaks saves or all sorts of stuff, it's an absolute mess. You don't want to do this. So be careful because this goes live. So I'm going to enter the super secret code Steamworks, which is suggested to me right here. <laughs> and I'm going to hit really publish. And it's publishing changes to Steam. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, all done, we're done. So I don't know why this stays up here, I'm not sure, but I just ignore it. So theoretically now it's been published, let's go verify if that's the case. So um, well, I don't even know why I'm opening over Smash here. Well, just to tell you that it's gonna get released on October 10th, 2017, I know you're dying to play it. Um, okay, so I'm going to now go back to my Steam thing and one thing that should catch your eye is the fact that my user is logged out dish now the reason why this has happened is because i've used steam cmd and i've logged in through that so i'm gonna have to do the login again 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit Steam and launch it again. Well, let me tell you about my life. Actually, let's not. Okay, so I'm going to type my password. Log in. Oh, apparently I typed it wrong. Isn't that disgusting? Let's see if I got it right this time. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, we're back. Let's take a look at the library. Update queued. Did you see that? Downloading. Okay, auto updates enabled. It's downloading something on Nova Smash. Boom. Download completed. It was 74 kilobytes, essentially because there was no difference whatsoever between the two builds. <clears throat> and now oh, I'm showing you my entire list of games here. Dodgy. And here's my Ovo Smash. And everything should be working just fine. And this, my dear friends, concludes uh, my short tutorial um, series on how to integrate Steamworks.net into your Unity game. I hope you found it useful. Uh, I genuinely do. <laughs> and if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Uh, leave any feedback you like. I, I will do my best to respond to it all. And uh, if you liked it enough, then share it with your friends. Share it with other developers that could find it useful. And if you liked it so much, you could hardly contain your enthusiasm, then the best thing you can do for me is go ahead and go to the Steam store and look for Ovo Smash. It's right there. Don't play Thief 2. I mean, it's an amazing game. <clears throat> forget, forget what I just said. Uh, and, and you go to Ovo Smash and you buy the scintillating bestseller which it isn't, at least not yet, I don't know, uh, and uh, support me. It would be the best way possible to support me. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I'll talk to you some other time. By the way, if you want to contact me, there's so many ways to do this, they're all in the description. Thanks very much. All the best, and make games. Keep making games. Bye.